Okay, well, it makes sense that if you eat a lot of unhealthy food like this, it's high in fat and sugar, you probably risk being unhealthy, right? I think we can all agree to that. But what if your diet is full of healthy things like almonds and broccoli and salmon? You would be surprised to learn those foods could actually lead to problems like insomnia, fatigue, weight gain, and a host of a bunch of other issues. So, how do you know which foods will give you these reactions? Well, solving this mystery is as simple as a blood test. And I happen to recently have my blood drawn. And this morning, Dr. Jennifer Ridley is here to give me the results. And Amy's here to help. I'm, I'm, here, to see I'm here for emotional support. Now, you're going to be, re <laughs> I want to mention, I, I don't know what my results are. You're right. going to be revealing them live on the air. Correct. First, I want to. To ask you a question because most of us hear food allergies we think of like a peanut allergy we swell up like a balloon or something and you're saying we could be eating foods even healthy ones and have like an internal reaction that's exactly what I'm saying this, these foods could be creating inflammation once you eat them and cause all sorts of other symptoms that aren't rashes things like weight gain or insomnia that's because the, the inflammation in your bloodstream being triggered by these foods. Okay, I can't take it any longer. Oh, yeah. Uh, we're going we're gonna to be doing the reveal here. You guys take this over. Are you ready for this, Carrie? I don't know if I'm ready. It's going to be a life changer. All right, it is. Cold. Doctor, let's start with the first one. All right, cottage cheese. Okay. Big sensitivity to that. Huge. So we're doing some of your most significant ones first. Right, because Swiss these, cheese these go as in levels, well, right? too, Swiss by the way. Cheese? Yes. I don't like cottage cheese, so that's okay, but Swiss cheese? Swiss I cheese. Love Swiss it cheese. gets worse, honey. Watch this. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Blue cheese and cheddar. Now, you're not as allergic to these, but you have a sensitivity to these items that as well. That is exactly right. Okay. okay. We're categorizing them for you, so, mild to Okay, uh, so it goes from most severe. most severe to very mild. To mild, that's okay. correct. All right. All right, let's reveal the next one. It's a really big one. This is a big one. Okay, oh, and um, no. we have we have this still for you to Do look at. Do we want to give a drum roll or something? We could put them to use. You want to give us a drum roll? Sure, are you ready for it? Yes, I, guess, I, I got guess it. So. Good. Because this is the most significant doctor. Reveal this next one. Gluten. Ah, uh, are you kidding? See, I told it's you not, earlier, I'm it's like, not oh, as hard as it used to be. There's so many gluten-free products now. It's not, it's not as hard as it used to Where be. Where do I okay. fall on the chart for gluten? Very, Very. high. <laughs> Very reactive. Wow. <laughs> no! <laughs> so, I mean, we're talking, really? what goes along with gluten as well? All of the grains, so anything. Anything with wheat in it. Anything with wheat, also rye, also triticale, okay. spelt. There are some other ones that you have. There to it eat. is. There it is. That's everything that you cannot have, Gary. Now, is casein, is that dairy? Casein is dairy. Wait, and cheese. So, what about milk? I can't have. Are you oh, kidding? Oh, gosh. That's, that's, on the, that's on the high end. <laughs> we got to put that over here, Carrie. Oh, my gosh. I can't have milk. You can't have milk. Okay. Is there anything else in there? Yes. Oh, there's more. <laughs> there's more. There's more coming. Okay. Oh, lovely. Ta-da! Eggs. I did. I I want to say I guessed I would be allergic to bananas and eggs. I don't know if bananas on the list, but eggs. I, I tend to get a stomach ache after I both eat both the whites and the yolks for you. The yolks a little bit stronger than the whites. But bananas are okay, so there's a there's a bright spot. <laughs> I can eat bananas. I don't know why bananas give me a stomach ache, but they do. Well, mm. okay, so not allergic to bananas. Right. I guess that's okay. Okay, so there's two types of milks uh, we're talking about here. We talked about um, cow milk and goat milk. Which one Correct. is she more allergic to? She is more allergic to cow's milk. That really thanks you guys. So goat cheese would be also uh, goat love. cheese would also be out for her. Out for also her. Has so what can I almond milk? Can I have? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm allergic to almonds. You are. And those are really supposed to be good for right, you. Right, which yeah. is why this test is so valuable because we wouldn't know that any other and way. And I have to ask, where do almonds fall on the? Almonds were a medium for you. Okay. Take a look. We've got almonds, cashews, and pistachios. <gasps> Doctor, is this a common allergy? Nut allergies are pretty common. Okay. Don't wow. say cashews and pistachios too. <laughs> yes. It's really stinks. Um, here's we, we've got some good news when it comes to fish, though. So let's give her some good news. Okay. Okay. Salmon. You salmon can have is salmon. okay. I love salmon. But you cannot have trout or whitefish. Real any no. kind of whitefish? No, it's just the whitefish. The, the, the whitefish. Okay. The white so like tilapia would be okay. It'd be okay. 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 That's so right. salmon's good. Trout is bad. Right. What else is it? Do we have something else in there or no? Oh, that's just your cashews that you can't oh, the have cashews. over there too. All right. So um, what gonna, do people do? Yeah. yeah what's what's going to happen with results? she's going to eliminate a lot of stuff from her diet? That's right. What's going to happen? So I have created a whole plan for you that includes all the foods you can still have. And this is what you do for all your patients. That's right. Because for most people, it's much easier to focus on what they can still yeah. have and not what I just took away from you. So it's <laughs> okay. not it's not going to be that bad. And this won't be forever. We take really? about a season off of these foods, 90 days, 
because a lot of the problem with how we develop this is people aren't eating with the seasons anymore. They eat the same foods over and over true. and over oh. till your body is sick of them. So I go 90 days cold turkey. Right. And, and then what? Then we're going to slowly, purposefully reintroduce these, and you and I'll talk about how to do that. And what kind of results are you seeing from your other patients that have done this and they've gone through it? Most of the people get their mildly reactive foods back, but their significant <laughs> foods remain a significant Yikes. problem. Do you think her whole family should go gluten free? I think everyone should be tested so we know, so we're not guessing. Mm, okay. That's the real beauty of this. We're not guessing for a diet for random. It's just for you. Um, Doctor. Chocolate is not on the list. You're totally cool with that. I'm good with that. Good that doesn't have any wheat in it, right? That's <laughs> no, right. It, it doesn't, you can't have milk chocolate. No milk chocolate. Oh, dark chocolate. Dark chocolate. I like dark chocolate. Okay. <laughs> I want to say thank you, but um, no, thank you, honestly. You will. It, it will It'll change, change your life. life. You will feel really so will. much better that okay. you will say thank Thanks you. Thanks for helping out, my friend. You're welcome. We appreciate it. And you can contact Dr. Ridley, get tested for yourself by logging onto her website. It's livewelldfw.com.